Welcome to our latest video on the F annihilation of primary amines. This video is suitable for A-level students. By the end of this video lesson, you should understand that primary amines react with acid chlorides such as ethanol chloride to form compounds called substituted amides. You should also be able to write chemical equations to describe these reactions and be able to name the substituted amides that form. And finally, you should understand that during this reaction, a peptide link is formed. In our previous videos on the topic of amines, we've learned that amines are nitrogen compounds in which one or more of the hydrogen atoms in ammonia, NH3, is replaced by an alkyl or aryl group. Now, the number of alkyl groups determines whether the compound is a primary, secondary or tertiary amine. So in a primary amine, we have one alkyl group replacing one of the hydrogens in ammonia. So we have RNH2. And in a secondary amine, two of the hydrogens in ammonia are replaced by alkyl groups. And in a tertiary amine, three of the hydrogens in ammonia are replaced by alkyl groups. Now in this video, we're going to come across amides. Now, amides have the following general formula, an R group attached to a C double bond O and an NH2 group. And the first three members of the amide family are shown here. Methanamide has a H C double bond O, NH2. Ethanamide has a CH3 attached to a C double bond O and an NH2 and propanamide is a CH3, CH2, C double bond O, NH2. All of them have the amide group, which is a C double bond O, NH2. Now, ethanolation reactions involve replacing a hydrogen atom in an amine with an ethanol group, a CH3 bonded to a C double bond O, and the reaction is carried out by treating the amine with ethanol chloride. So here we have CH3 C double bond OCl, ethanol chloride, and methylamine, CH3 NH2, and a hydrogen from the amine joins with a Cl from ethanol chloride to make HCl, and a substituted amide is formed. So this substituted amide is a CH3 attached to a C double bond O and then a bond to a nitrogen and it has a hydrogen and a CH3 and it's called N-methyl ethanamide. Now the reason this reaction works is because there is a lone pair of electrons on the amine, on the nitrogen and this attacks the delta plus carbon on the acid chloride and remember the carbon is delta plus because it's next to an oxygen which is electronegative so the oxygen is delta minus. Now when we carry out an ethanolation reaction we form a substituted amide rather than a conventional amide. So now let's look at the difference between a conventional amide such as a phanamide and a substituted amide, such as N-methyl aphanamide. So a conventional amide has an R group attached to a C double bond O and then an NH2 group. So aphanamide is conventional amide because we have a CH3 group attached to a C double bond O and then an NH2. Now in a substituted amide, we have an R group attached to a C double bond O and then instead of having an NH2 we have an NHR and in N-methylophanamide this R group is a CH3 group and this CH3 group has come from the amine because the amine we used to make this substituted amide was methylamine. So in a substituted amide, instead of NH2 attached to the seed of a bond O, we have NHR. And we name a substituted amide like this, 
we look to see what the R group is that's attached to the NH. And in this case, it's a CH3 group. So this is called N hyphen methyl aphanamide. Because instead of having a CH3 C double bond O NH2, which would be aphanamide, the hydrogen on the NH2 has been replaced by a methyl group. It's been substituted. Now the reaction of an acid chloride and an amine is a method of producing a peptide linkage or peptide bond in a molecule. And this is a C double bond O NH bond or linkage. And this is also present in peptides, polypeptides and proteins. Also polyamides such as nylon also contain this linkage. So now let's test your understanding of this with some practice questions. So read for the questions, pause the video, have a go at them, and then we'll go for the answers. So now let's go for the answers to question 1a. So we have propanol chloride and methylamine. So propanol chloride is CH3 attached to a CH2 attached to a C double bond OCl. And this is an acid chloride or an acyl chloride. Now methylamine is CH3 attached to an NH2. So when these two compounds react, one of the H's attached to the N joins with a Cl to form HCl. And the result is the formation of a compound called a substituted amide. So our substituted amide has a CH3 attached to a CH2 attached to a C double bond O and an N H CH3. Now this compound is a substituted amide because instead of having a C double bond O NH2 on the end, it has a C double bond O NH R group. And this R group is a methyl group because it was made from methyl amine. So the name of this substituted amide is N methyl propanamide. Now the other product is hydrogen chloride gas. So now let's go through the answers to question 1b. So 1b is ethanol chloride and ethyl amine. So ethanol chloride is a CH3 attached to a C double bond O and a Cl. And ethylamine is CH3 attached to a CH2 attached to an NH2. Now ethylamine is a primary amine because one of the hydrogens from ammonia has been replaced by an alkyl group, in this case an ethyl group. So in this reaction, the chlorine from the acid chloride joins with a hydrogen that was attached to the nitrogen to form hydrogen chloride gas. And we also have the formation of a substituted amide. Now this substituted amide has the following structure. We have a CH3 attached to a C double bond O, and this is bonded to a nitrogen, which has a hydrogen attached, and then a C2H5 group, an ethyl group. And the reason there's an ethyl group attached to the nitrogen is because this is made from the amine ethyl amine. Now my other product is HCl. So this substituted amide is called N-ethyl ethanamide because instead of it being ethanamide, which has CH3 C double bond O NH2, an ethyl group 
has taken the place of one of the hydrogens here, and that's why it's called n ethyl aphanamide. So now let's look at question C. So we have ethanol chloride and phenyl amine. So ethanol chloride is CH3 attached to a C double bond O and a Cl. Now phenylamine is a benzene ring attached to an NH2 group. Now once again in this reaction the chlorine from the acid chloride is going to react with one of the hydrogens to form HCl and the result will be the formation of a substituted amide. So this substituted amide is going to have the following structure. We would have a CH3 group and this CH3 group is attached to a C double bond O and attached to the carbon we have a nitrogen bonded to a hydrogen and then a benzene ring, a phenyl group. My other product is HCl. So the name of this substituted amide is N-phenyl because a benzene ring is a phenyl group, ethanamide. And just like every ethanolation, we've created a peptide linkage, a C double bond O, NH. So now have a go at question two. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So now let's go for the answers to question two. So question two is asking you to write chemical equations to describe the reactions of ammonia and ethanol chloride and then ammonia and propanol chloride. So ammonia is NH3, ethanol chloride is CH3, C double bond O, Cl. Now once again, just like when we had the reaction of an amine and an acid chloride, the hydrogen on the ammonia joins with the Cl to form HCl. And the result this time is a conventional amide being formed. So our conventional amide will have the following structure. We'll have a CH3 attached to a C double bond O and an NH2 group. My other product will be HCl and this conventional amide that we formed is called ethanamide because it's an amide with two carbons in the chain. So now let's look at question B. So here we have ammonia NH3 reacting with propanol chloride. So propanol chloride will be CH3 attached to a CH2 group attached to a C double bond OCl. And once again, one of the hydrogens from ammonia will join with the chlorine from the acid chloride and will form HCl. And we'll be left with a conventional amide being formed and hydrogen chloride gas. So now let's draw the conventional amide that will form. We will have a CH3 group attached to a CH2 group, which will be 
attached to a C double bond O and we'll have an NH2 group on the end. Now this conventional amide will be called propanamide and my other product will be hydrogen chloride gas. And it's called propanamide because there's three carbons in the chain and it's an amide. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now understand that primary amines react with acid chlorides, such as ethanol chloride, to form compounds called substituted amides. You should also be able to write chemical equations to describe these reactions and name the substituted amides that form. And finally, you should understand that during this reaction, a peptide link is formed. So that concludes this video lesson. So please check out our YouTube channel, Dr. Rowe Chemistry, which has lots of GCSE, AS and A-level videos, and our Twitter site, at Radochemistry.